Welcome back to Good Day. It's 843 night right now. Helping you save smart. And one of your options, of course, is coupon clipping. But this morning, some people might not be as excited about it after watching a program on cable television. Maybe you saw it. It shows people who save thousands of dollars, but at the same time, they live rather extreme lifestyles, sometimes reminding viewers of hoarders or people who have severe addictions. So how can you save extreme amounts without living in extreme lifestyle? And joining us right now is is Josh Ellich from SavingsAngel.com. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks Morning. for being with us. Thank you. Amy. All right, so let's talk about this because you do see these shows and you're like, oh, I don't want to end up like that. How do you know at what point that coupon clipping has gone over the edge? <laughs> well, yeah, and there are some very negative portrayals yes. out there right now. And gosh, this is, it's both good for the couponing world and kind of <laughs> bad for the couponing world. And so, you know, if people associate and think that this is what couponers do, I mean, this really is kind of a made-for-television right, scenario. Right. I, I've really never met anyone who's quite that obsessive. But that being said, you know, is it possible to take this too far? And I think it is. And uh, I would say a couple of warning signs. Number one would be, and, uh, you know, on this on this show, Extreme Couponing, right. um, they show some very obsessive, controlling behavior. And I would say that if your relationships are suffering because of your addiction, right. that's probably probably a warning sign that you might want to reevaluate how you're managing everything. Um, you don't want to get to that point. And number two, and this is the one that I think is, is pretty easy to identify, and that is, is that if you have a lot of product that ends up going to waste way mm -hmm. beyond the expiration date and you end up throwing it away, not only is that a, a warning sign that maybe you're not managing things very well, it's also just a waste in itself. Sure. And I really, every time, any time I have something spoiled or go bad, I, you know, it's like, oh gosh, I just, you know, and right. I think everybody happens, that happens to everybody sure. in the refrigerator and so forth. Um, but yeah, you want to avoid that. And one of the best ways to avoid that scenario, especially with pantry foods, you know, foods that you don't have to keep frozen and refrigerated, is to become a big donator. Mm -hmm. And I actually happen to know that a couple of the people on this, on this particular show we're talking about are actually donators, but the TV show didn't really mention <laughs> that. Just left that out. That doesn't make good television. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's a great way to uh, to more effectively manage your pantry is, you know, really look at it as a system of stuff coming in, products going out. And right. either they're going out and you're consuming those products or you're going out and you're, do you're donating. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity to donate these days. Sure. Well, and you always talk, you know, hear about people who do the BOGOs, you know, who are obsessive about the BOGOs. But, you know, a lot of times, and I'm sure you're the same way, you buy one and you're like, I'm not going to use two 30-ounce jars of mayonnaise in the next <laughs> six months, right? Yeah. So that's a perfect opportunity to say, okay, well, I'm going to take the extra one and then I'm going to drop it off at a food shelter or a church. Yeah, absolutely. And both both food shelters, you know, pantries and, you know, with churches um, are really suffering. I know in our own giving, you know, we used to give a lot more to like women's shelters and pantries, but we have found ourselves donating more to friends who have lost sure, jobs. Absolutely. And so, you know, it, there's a lot of need out there right now. So there's an opportunity to do really good and feed a very, right. what can be a very healthy habit and, sure. and, and uh, fun hobby. And not go crazy. Over it. All right, exactly. let's get back to couponing and talk about how do we make this something that's fun, that's actually helping us save money and not a full-time job. Because I've seen the ladies in the grocery store with a notebook yes. full of coupons, and I'm thinking, that must have taken them all day. Oh, it, and it does. And it absolutely, for, for some women and men, um, it is. A, it's a very full part-time job. Mm -hmm. And, you know, God bless them for doing that. Sure. If that's what they enjoy and, and they're willing to do that, and they can actually make a decent hourly wage for that work. If you do not want to do that, and quite frankly, I'm part of that crowd that I don't <laughs> want to spend that amount of time right. uh, using technology these days, using the internet, you know, a service like savingsangel.com is my company and, right. and we are very, very effective at saying, look, you've only got maybe 45 minutes to an hour uh, this week. We're going to show you how to use that most effectively so that you can save, you know, $200, $300 by the end of the month. But technology can make this, it's just not your mom's couponing world <laughs> these days. It's a whole nother universe, it is, isn't it? Is, it? Is, yeah. All right, Josh Allen. <laughs> As always, thanks such great advice this morning. Savingsangel.com is the website. Make sure you go check it out, and we're going to send it right back over to Jim. 
All right, folks, they're the things you're going to buy anyway. So why not save some cash while you're at it? Joining us now for our weekly deals is Josh Elledge, Chief Executive Angel of SavingsAngel.com. Long title there, but a lot to get into here. What are we starting with? Pull-ups over here. Yes, pull-ups. Again, anytime I can find a great deal on diapers or pull-ups, man, I want to let the moms and dads know because those are expensive. Yeah. You can spend a Stop lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so this is a half price deal at CVS. Normally you'd spend $10. That's a little pricey. Normally you could do much better than that, but they're on sale for $8.99. When you buy them at CVS, you want to go to, they will give you $2 back at the register. When, they'll actually give you $4 back at the register when you buy two of them. Okay. So you're saving $2 off, and there are $2 coupons that you can print off right now. And you want to go to My Fox Orlando, you want to click on Deal of the Day, and there's an image that says Savings Angel. We'll have all the coupons so you can click, print, get these same deals. Good deal. But that's going to make this faux $4.99 for a jumbo pack of pull-ups, that's a great price yeah. for pull-ups. Load up on that yeah. as well as some toothpaste. Yeah, some free toothpaste and you can actually make money. And that's that's enough to make we you smile like by that. itself. <laughs> so you <laughs> got clean teeth and you can smile. All right, so the way it works, again, this is at CVS. Um, you can buy it. It's normally $4.89 on sale for $3.79. Get $3.79 back at the register in form of an extra care bucks, which you can use on a future transaction. Okay. Also, you want to go in with one dollar coupons again we've got that information and where to find those coupons online okay. but yeah you so you get it for free and you technically made a one dollar profit just for picking this up off the shelf never pay money for toothpaste remember that okay so these over here we just talked about are the ones where you have a coupon mm -hmm. and then you also get you have the uh, the cash money back at the money register, back at yep. the register. Mm -hmm. these however over here we're going to talk about strictly coupons yep. for these great everyday items yes. first up lunch meat we could all use some of that I, pack your own oh lunch my and goodness. save with three kids in school i go through so we go through so much lunch meat and uh right now you can get uh, um, uh the hillshire farm deli sandwich meat this is normally 3.99 it's on sale for 3.33 that's probably a little bit better than the walmart price mm -hmm. but the thing that makes it great is there are printable one dollar coupons okay and you could print two of these per computer bring all your one dollar coupons into Publix, and you'll get this for two dollars 33 cents which all is a good right, price let's on lunch move along here to Yep. veggies and ice cream. Yep, normally $2.39. They're 50% off at Publix. Again, $1 and three coupons you can uh, you can clip out of your Sunday paper. Just came out. Bring them into Publix. You're going to get this for 87 cents. That's a 64% savings on veggies. The price of vegetables are going up. Quick meals this would be to a great go. Time. And the last one, but not of least, course. we've got the treat. Dessert. Oh. We've got Starbucks coffee dessert, not yeah. just any dessert we're nope. talking about And here. so you can get, yeah, they've got the hot chocolate, they've got vanilla, or they've got all these different coffee flavors. Um, again, they're buy, these are buy one, get one free. It's going to make them normally $4.15. Buy one, get one free, 408, and there are one dollar, uh, there are uh, one dollar coupons which are going to make them uh, just over a dollar, one dollar and eight cents for uh, a pint of Starbucks ice cream. Out of control. Yeah. We love all these great deals. Thank you so much for coming in, Josh. And again, if you want to find some more savings and more info, go to myfoxorlando.com. Let's send things over to Jackie.